What's what's my intro? What's what's the normal intro I say? Uh, hey, what's up, good hey, people? Up, Welcome guys? to an ep- another episode of Pwn, right? Yeah. Pwn, yeah. Is that what I say? Okay. Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome to another episode of Pwn. This episode is a different sort of episode. It's going to be very different because I'm actually kind of recording this right now, but uh, I'm going to be playing back everything. So this is actually at the end of the video. This video is dedicated to the Sobek designed by Dennis, aka. Ardeja? Joseph, how do I say that? Ardeja. Ardeja. Yeah. You can see the Sobek in his hands right there. Uh, this is a completed Sobek. This actually now, I, I dare say, it belongs to Herod's. It could be considered to uh, be belonging to either Joseph or Herod's or, or myself. Uh, because... Yeah, it's, yeah. Jo- yeah, it's, well, it's kind of shared. I, I would say it's kind of shared. If anything, it's between you and me. Okay, so it's then, then <laughs> Joseph, then it's yeah, between you and me. <laughs> it's been... Uh, pretty long journey uh, in terms of this whole Sobek build and uh, I'd like to thank Ardejar for blessing me with the opportunity to try out the Sobek but you know we ran into some trouble and everything so you know um, I'm just gonna kind of yeah some I'm gonna share uh, with you guys the entire quote-unquote process from day one and then uh, how it transpired all the way until today all right here we go flashback we are at Joseph's man cave and we are building the Sobek today, both Joseph and I. Initially, I wanted to do a time lapse, but um, Joseph did advise me saying that Duncan has actually finished his own Sobek build. We are technically the beta testers. Am I am I right in saying that? Yep. We are technically, yeah, we are technically the beta testers. And Duncan took an amazing 12 hours to finish his Sobek, so um, that is making me a bit worried about taking a time lapse because you know time lapsing for 12 hours is no joke and i told joseph maybe maybe i just want to conserve my memory space and i'll just kind of take videos at certain uh points in time during the build but we have everything here joseph is kind of explaining everything to me i do have to look at the tutorial the build instructions and then let's just see how far we can go today the challenge actually uh joseph set was six hours but I told Joseph, let's just have a mini competition and see how far each of us can go, who can build it faster. I guess you could say I'm at a disadvantage because I have not seen anything else about the Sobek besides the demonstration of like the firing and stuff. So we're gonna make it today. Thanks Joseph for doing this. Yeah. There are a couple of pieces missing, uh, not yet printed, so Joseph is actually printing it. But uh, I wanted to bring your attention to this. Look, this is the hardware kit. Yeah, it's a long, it's a long ass tube. Everyone's like a long ass tube. Got another one right here. So uh, let's just. Okay, it's empty. Doesn't even feel like PVC, but I don't know. Hardware, hardware. So these are the rods that will go through the entire cell bag. So we got two sets of these. A few moments later. Okay, it has been like what twenty minutes in, and uh, I ran into my first problem. This part here, literally at the start. Yeah, uh, the sear is completely wrong because there's so many versions, and I, I don't blame Joseph because there's way too many. So this is the sears that are printed for me, and the reason why Joseph gave me two sears is because he wanted to give me the choice of color. And the issue here is that the sear here, pictured in Dennis's video, is like. There's a nub there and whatever and then this one has a nub here on the trigger but there's no nub on this here so it's just incorrect. It's not compatible at all because the screw port just doesn't line up because there's a screw port here but there's none here versus Joseph's version which is right there. So this this trigger doesn't have that nub and this sear doesn't have a nub but it requires a screw which is way stronger and it's just a single spring system which is way more elegant. So Joseph's got his parts lined up but mine just doesn't. So we have to reprint this thing to match this part here. And this is going to take another seven hours. So uh, I'm handicapped now. I don't think I can finish this today. But let's just see what other parts we can carry on with. So yeah, at least he's making some progress. Whoa. At least he's making some progress. We now have Duncan and Ebner to help us out. So Duncan's here because he's built a soul bag. The problem is that this now. <laughs> Look at this Joseph up. in the back. So we've got some really major printing issues here. Once you push the plunger <laughs> tube in, right? The whole piece ex- expands to the point that... Yeah... Okay, so everything's supposed to line up perfectly like that. But once you put the plunger tube in, it forces this whole thing to expand and then the grip will expand and split apart. And we were Just thinking, well, that's going to be fine. But you have to thread four long 
threaded rods all the way across the entirety of the blaster. <laughs> and that was... <laughs> Look at that cam! What is... So literally I told Duncan, hey, I'm going to show you something cursed. He said, it's not cursed, this is wrong. And then he looked at it again and said, oh wait. I saw my horizontal expansion. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw horizontal expansion. Oh, no, like I've written this before, fire. horizontal expansion. <laughs> I don't okay. think it's going to that bad It will be fun It's going gonna, it's gonna to stretch, look It has a stretch It looks fine now, it has a stretch You try putting a threaded rod through No, you just try putting one rod through it Yeah, exactly It's not normal. It's not normal. Okay guys, you know what? I really think we're not able to get a soul bag done today Really, I think it'll be like at least another month Before we finish it <laughs> 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 It's going to be one of those like 15 part gameplay trailers Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> Playthroughs just to get one level done. Exactly. What you, if you we combine parts? Zero. Like, see, one whole <laughs> Sobek print, another set of Sobek prints there, there, and all the hardware kits, right? What if we just combine two to build one? No, no, no. That, no, that makes sense. Look, like, his channel isn't going through. The <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how about the other one? Oh, it's too far off. It's not going through. <laughs> the other one? The other one? I brought some needle files and we were thinking of, like, kind of jamming the needle file into an electric screwdriver so that we can kind of file through. Let's see if that works. You want to try that? We just use the needle file and file our way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three hours later. We got this far. Got all the watts through. And even the plunger tube, even though it's got the obnoxious split there. Uh, Joseph is making progress on the dildo. I mean the... <laughs> yeah, and the pump. It's way more troublesome than, than any of us thought. This was such a pain to do. Like you had to basically disassemble and reassemble things, screw things in halfway so they could stop those threaded rods through and get all these things done. Yeah, you see, it's just really stressful. He's struggling with that part. But looks like we've got most of it built out here. Just, you know, the really, really intricate parts here. But uh, I spent a lot of time widening the slot so that we could thread everything through. That's the first biggest part. So Duncan shared that the best way forward actually, or the best thing to do when you start is to first print out your grip area and then make sure that everything lines up from there. So once that's good, tolerances are set correctly, that's when you know that the rest of the prints are going to work. Because we spent way too much time just trying to widen the slots and making everything work. If you guys notice, the lights, the lighting's really different now because it's... <laughs> It's like almost 9 p.m. right? I started at 1 p.m. today. Okay, all the people with COVID. I It's okay. I I I I'm a pro at doing this by by now. This one just one catch or this two? Because you need one catch to release and one catch to keep the next shot. Yes. So that you don't like release all. So you know what I'm gonna say. So you don't release your entire load at once. Wait, it's going on. <laughs> Your video cannot be monetized due to the following reasons. Duncan. Duncan. Like I give up. Duncan. Gun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Duncan Gun. Oh, your channel has been demonetized on the word Gun. Joseph. Oh. oh. <laughs> Shut up, take a seat. <laughs> this, this guy ejaculating on corner. <laughs> People screaming my nickname, then one the guy discharging himself in the corner. Wait! <laughs> Did you miss something again? I definitely printed it. We are on the verge of giving up and it is dinner time. Time to eat. This is mentai salmon. And this is mentai salmon. Spicy mentai salmon. Spicy mentai salmon. Spicy mentai chicken. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Duncan. You're the best. Emna, you paid right, Emna. So I, I owe you for lunch and dinner. Thank you, Emna. I love you. Dennis, I have to humbly apologize to you, Dennis. I'm really, truly sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I don't think we're able to finish the Sobek in one day. Are you sorry for yourself, your viewers, or for just for Joseph? I, I feel bad because Joseph is constantly f***ing up. Why did you just say like that? Hey, Joseph. I think those like like you for your faults, not for your What? What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, 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 they complain. Like, this has so been... Bad, bad. For real, they, they complain, right? In my, all honesty, my, my, my family possibly the most complain. frustrating build I've ever experienced. So... No, no, no. I feel bad for them. <laughs> <laughs> what is Duncan? Don't no, see... <laughs> you ignoring know, yourself? Oh, okay. Oh shit! So to assemble a so bad, we need to 
get a bug. <laughs> we need some proper ringing <laughs> service. Before yeah. I continue. Oh my god. I found my hidden skill. I think when you get this blaster back, right, you need to go cleanse it with alcohol already. Right? <laughs> There's now the introduction of purple parts because we literally are combining two full sets of prints and two sets of hardware just to try, try, the keyword is try to build one soul bag. Friendship is magic. <laughs> <laughs> Makes the dream work. <laughs> Two thousand years later. Y'all don't wait up, just start the Soviet assembly without the yeah. Joseph. <laughs> Clearly, this is a great way to start this part of the video. Uh, this is a follow-up from where we left off the last time around, and this time we're at Herod's place because we screwed up and uh, Joseph didn't print some stuff. What and do you mean we? <coughs> Joseph screwed up. One thing led to another and in the end, Joseph and I spent some time uh, also with uh, some of Duncan's help to rework the files. We widen all the screw ports, we widen the slots, we widen especially the slots that would fit the main rods of the blaster. The reason why we did that was because we were thinking whether or not it was a difference between where Dennis was located versus here in Singapore. You know, differences in atmospheric conditions, humidity and things like that that would or might have attributed to the tolerance issues but basically Duncan faced some tolerance issues Joseph who technically printed my kit as well uh, also had some tolerance issues so basically it was such a long process that uh, you know uh, we just got really busy and then finally Harrods mentioned that he was interested in the sewback as well so here we are uh, one thing led to another this is actually my hardware kit and Harris has printed all these parts. These are the already adjusted parts. That's the reason why I'm here today, to assemble this thing together with Harrods. Joseph was supposed to be around, but he... Fuck you, Joseph. <laughs> That's quite nice, though. We are going to assemble this, and then I will just kind of update you guys and see how the progress is going to go. Hopefully, by the end of tonight, we will have a fully functional Sobek. If not, we'll have to go back square one so when i said we assemble i actually mean herod <laughs> i'm just joking i'm gonna help herod in a bit but uh, yeah just to show you guys it's happening guys it's happening i think the tolerances are better did you have to expand anything else after um, oh no i just screw everything in with your screwdriver so it's fine right yeah it's fine great so that means that we needed to adjust the files so that's something to take as a feedback like Duncan, did he tell you? He's now using the edited files and he's saying that he doesn't have any problems with installation at all. So I think it's really the files, like, at least for us, right? The designer said that uh, even someone like Baylor, who's like really good at building clusters, he had problems with the screw ports. So it's just a file setting. So yeah, that's feedback for you, Dennis. Uh, we uh, basically expanded every stop, but Duncan's the one that gave a lot of advice for that. This is here longer than my lifespan. <laughs> Prime. Yeah, I went. Yeah, yeah, somebody else. Like, 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 I know who the other guy is. Oh, you need one. Like, see, I don't mind giving. Okay. 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 Loading. Okay, it's loading for the time. My only issue with flywheel is that getting light pole and dark pole. That's right. So it's not. It's not. It's not biting. I think it's not. It's not biting the lid. Actually, light pole. Okay, we got this far. Uh, the ejector piece came loose, so. Uh, okay, but why does it not? Why is it not catching? Ah, uh, no catches. Uh, so it's by. No, it's just. Uh, I recommend putting two springs. Yeah? Two springs? All right, let's just try. Okay, get some disassembling this again. Honestly speaking, we assembled this whole thing in twenty minutes, which is a record. Duncan took. 12 hours. We took 8 hours 12, and we 12 hours couldn't eight finish hours it. Sleep. Could, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> back that much. to the drawing board. We have to take a few steps back. Stop it. Uh, 
Aha! Uh-huh. This thing is too big brain for me, right? I wonder how this screw part is not dead. So, yeah, well, in the end, we just have to put two springs. Alright, let's carry on. It's, it's almost done, by the way. Almost done, almost done, I promise. That's what we said just now. I mean... <laughs> we identified the issues. We fixed the issues. So we're just waiting for more issues. And an uh. and issue is coming soon, in around 20 minutes. <laughs> It's a true walking issue. If you guys look really carefully in the back, just behind Harrods, right? You you see a stack of tissue paper, like that shit. Shows you how much he loves Lee Ho Tea, guys. No 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 no! Oh shit! Oh, it's dropping! Oh. <laughs> Wait, this isn't even Lee Ho. Yeah, this, this is like here? this is the thing supporting the entire Lee Ho Tower. The one time I think Su Chang took the Lee Ho thing, then the entire tower fell, and I got so angry. That's that's the important. See, Su Chang does shit like that. He just touches anything. He just touches he just, he just, he just, <laughs> can, can you add that flashback on the Nerf 10 and anniversary video? Ah, uh, sure, I will. Just add it right here into this video. Just to remind who Su Chang is and what he does. The plunger is very slippery, so hey. you can take down like that. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, in order for you to get one packet of those Lee Ho Tea tissues, you have to spend a minimum of five bucks at Lee Ho Tea. So, <laughs> Herod. You know what's the best part? There's some that I already used. Go up first. Use and... You, so you use and Don't put it back. Don't ask that! Don't ask that! <laughs> <laughs> Don't make the whole point! <laughs> Moment of truth. Well, we've got everything just installed already. Let's see how this goes now. I'm so surprised you don't have to do this. Oops. Oops. Yes, it works! The first shower to come out, I guess. I guess I'll lock it out. Okay. This is a flex. The cool thing is that you can see the 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 spring, right? Yep. <laughs> no, I need I need the spring. Here. I can I cannot do this without spring. No, 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 no. Excuse me. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I love my friend. So bad. <laughs> then I try to take Stop it out. Like, okay. Okay. Push it. <laughs> Oh, something's wrong? Something's blocking, right? Yeah, something's blocking, I don't know what. What is blocking? I... What? Yeah, this ejecting works fine, it's just that he can't push it up. It's stuck. Yeah, why is it stuck? I don't understand why it's stuck. Step, bro, I'm stuck. Is it because you're, you're tilting the blaster downwards? Can you try like not tilting the blaster downwards? Yeah, try not tilting the blaster downwards. Then it could be, maybe this pusher doesn't push far enough. Wow. So it ejects fine. It's just that you're pointing it downward when you, every, time, every time you prime okay. it, right? Where is this? Yeah. Did break? No, 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 it's just spring not strong enough. No, I don't feel a spring anymore. Hmm? Uh oh. The spring's definitely there. It's just not what strong enough. What do you mean, Stephanie? There's no fear shit. Dude, that's not supposed to happen. That's too weak. Oh, no, I open it. There's no other spring that fits. I actually looked through all my springs. Wait, none of them. Okay, never mind, never mind. Bad at the sobek. No. I think I'm just bad at the sobek. This, this piece is isn't supposed to be so loose, right? Yeah, it's not supposed to be Okay, let's fix it again. Joseph has finally arrived. There we go. Wow. Try it when you're tilted. Yep, let's do it. Tilted? When you're tilted. I'm already tilted. In cannot rise. Tilt, tilted down cannot rise. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Tilted down cannot. The, but like that, can, it, the shower... Wait, yes. I, the shower level needs to be stronger. So if you have it... Am I dumb? I'm just dumb. Why are we doing one smooth action like? No. <laughs> hey, look where it belongs. <laughs> Guy, what the? Oh, perfect. First try. Right, there's something wrong if, if every single time it does that. Two.
thousand years later. My god, that's so long. It's long for me, my arms are short as. Don't push forward. No, start with you. Sorry, I can see it's stuck. Step, rub, start. Wow. Push forward. This was down. It's okay, but if this was down. Okay. I'm surprised none of these shells break. These are all human brittle as. So it's just me, yeah. The ejection no. was me being dumb. The shell latch is very. What's when, when you prank all the people is supposed to go back up? Right? This looks okay so far. Uh, but I just suck at using it. No, first impressions is that it's, it's very long. It's a uh, long boy. Really, really long. And uh, you, you guys can see, right? It's, it's kind of. Yeah. You need a very specific tool to use it right in there. Yeah. It's not right? priming now. No, touching. Let me. Oh shit! <laughs> I, I suck at using it. Are we firing at Joseph? Joseph no, no, okay, don't fire at Joseph. Joseph Just... got consent? Uh, yeah, sure. Got consent, okay. Aim okay. low. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I cannot pull the oh. trigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <was> surprising. <laughs> okay. I think because you said one, two, three, nothing came out. Then he was like, yeah, I was like, like King, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you see the air brake works. The, yeah, the air brake does work. Yeah, it's it stopped there. Even touch, right? Look, look at this shit. The air brake just stopped there. Oh. oh. Okay, wow. this went well. So uh, we'll be spending the next few hours just probably messing with this thing. Eight hours later. What? Oh my god, I'm telling you, gotta. Oh shit, you're gonna do that again. Hey, pass me, pass me on this. Can we balance? Who on it? It's some work of art, holy shit. The artist and his creation. <laughs> How comfortable are you holding it, man? <laughs> oh shit! Let me like, like stretch out my arm. Just like, look at how straight my arm is. Holy shit! It's a hard trigger pull, bro. Yeah, it's a hard trigger pull. It's a heavy trigger. Shit, that man, holy crap! The seal, though. Yeah, the seal is an eight-hour print. About two days of printing wow. the five cards. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, these people short, I cannot relate. Really. Oh, I just play at it. I just play at it. I just play at it. Look at this. You do, you can, you, you want, you want him to do. Look, look, this is American sized human holding it just fine. I'm still banned on. Tummy included. <laughs> No, but then again, also like there's the shoulder width, right? Harris shoulder is f***ing broad, honestly. I got a very nice body if I work out, but I lazy as fuck. But no but. Harris could be so much more. Yes. You yeah. never motivate me now. This is your fault. Hey. Oh, 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 I'm not paid to do it. Victim shame. <laughs> hey, you think the Indra falls in? I think it falls in, in between the Sobek and the Swift. More than the, the Swift? It's more than Sobek, surprisingly. Like the Indra is a bolt, bro. No. Okay, you look at the drawing of the Indra is here. Like, it's half of the Caddy Burn. They look at the Caddy Burn. It's like. Oh, wait, but it's pushed forward. Yeah, so it's like... I, I say already, it's a caliber but shotgun. Joseph's the guy that said I got 10 seconds seal for 2 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> He's also the guy that put sugar on my spicy. Hey, hey, hey. And truffle in curry oil. Hey, wait, no, truffle oil in curry. <laughs> and then... What? Spill avocado. Yeah, like, you see this floor has contaminated by its avocado 3 times. Maybe 4. I lost count, it happened too many times. Mm. 
and the world needs to know of Joseph's crimes. <laughs> crimes against my floor. Culinary crimes. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing hurt is my feelings. I don't know how you do this to me. I didn't know your finger was there. That was a blind spot, okay, Harold. So, first two are just shelves. Then the last one has got six Stefans. I think I'm getting a little bit more comfortable if I, if I hold it here closer to this part. So, this distance is quite okay for me. But I have to really grip on the side like that. I consider printing the like, extender grip for you, but then. You mean like that? Like here? Yeah, the one that covers the. This one's quite okay, actually. Like, yeah, that here. You need the hook. Yeah, yeah, but no matter what, right, I have to still twist my body. Like for example, whenever I use my wings or whatever, I'm, I'm comfortable almost square, almost square. Okay, now I have to really twist it. So yeah. I can picture like, let's say, before a game, right, I kind of wait like that, right, and then they say, okay, start. Then by the time I want to handle the blaster, I have to kind of twist it. Like, literally got to twist. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. But then again, this kind of, this blaster, you don't use it for those kind of games. So this blaster, you just mess around, you know, you don't really care about the, the default position for starting games also, like that, right? It's all about having fun for this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is very finicky on the oh, fine for something ripped. You shave just a filament. You shave the filament. Matte filament. Matte filament thing. Yes. <laughs> they do that. How come you can't reject the next shell? Huh? I mean, okay. you can't release it. So right, if you, you need by default, press right, back. one of it is up, one of it is down. So after you hit the catching point. The, oh, so the one that's supposed up, to be flat. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. You need to push all the way to engage the next catch. You try? Do you try? Do you try lubing? See, cannot right. Okay, yeah, cannot right. Right, very difficult, right? Okay, let's try. Alright, I'll just do it. So that's we're gonna fire. Yeah, yeah fire. Alright, camera's running. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh fuck! Ah. It's trigger. Pull. Just it's pull. very hard. It's, it's heavy pull. Do it. Do it. What? Do it. Ah. Just can't come pull. Don't you won't break it. Can't come pull. Break then we print on it. <laughs> Correct. No wonder you asked for the pull. You try, you try. Yeah. <sighs> oh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh really? Oh okay. Not oh. Jesus. <laughs> These two hands. Just what wasn't this stuff? It wasn't, bro. Fine. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll fix this. Six and a half hours later. Whoa, what, what? <laughs> you just eject every single shell. You try, you try, you try to hold it up. Yeah, I'm going to hold it up. Yeah. Fire! Okay, that's the first one. Oh, okay. Hold it up, God man. damn. If you hold it out, the shell will go backwards. And then you won't get caught. The just, just no, but no, no, just it has to be up. You try being, do it faster. Yeah. No, 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 no. I because it's yeah, jam, it slips back to the front. Oh, back to the front. Whatever. Damn. Damn, son. Come again. Uh. Yeah, Is it always the last shell? Like the first shell, like no problem. I think all you, all you gotta do is just fire like a hundred times. Yeah, oh, is this all oh, after a break in period? So I'm slowly getting the hang of the, the slow back though. I'm not. I just think this part is a bit strange. Uh, does, does, does it really matter for you? It's like supposed to be very stringy, yeah, right? Correct. Yeah, I get it. It's like a shotgun where. Oh, like, Daddy, you saw right when you did it. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's not supposed to be like. So I don't know if this is the reason why it's not chambering, I don't know. But I have a feeling it's also this spring is not pushing pushing the shells far enough. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Oh, sorry. Oh, hey, you go gym or not? Wow! <laughs> I bring a blaster. You, you are not. Bring on. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are here to find out. We are here to find out. Hold on. Find it. Yeah, uh, I just want to. Yeah, you can. Do it. Yes. If, if it will also resonate. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna change it to my phone. Okay, also nice. A few moments later And we are done with that part Finally, uh, I guess it's time to kind of close off the video I like to kind of get everyone's thoughts So I'm just going to put the camera like that I think the silver is quite cool um, Out of the box, not really box like, like straight out of printing 
um, natively it accepts uh, shells that can also accept uh, you know uh, not just streamlined darts or half length darts but mega darts rivals okay so I'm gonna just say right off the bat my biggest gripe with it is that I feel that it is too long uh, for, for me for me like Harrods is totally completely fine handling it but I I personally find it very uncomfortable because it's just too long probably right because this is like we've only like spent the past few hours uh, with the Sobek that uh, I think maybe it's one of those things that you kind of have to keep using and eventually you'll break in it becomes smoother you get used to the action and things like that but apart from that I think that the way it functions if I were to compare it to anything I would compare it to a what was that like a Captain what? Firefly? Captain something? What? Uh, Colonel, Colonel Wasp oh, Colonel, Colonel Wasp. Wasp sorry Colonel Wasp Firefly I don't yeah if I, co if I compare the Sobek to that I would say that the Sobek is way easier to use versus the Firefly because even though the Firefly was a smaller form factor altogether, that whole chambering mechanism was just really, really tough to actuate. But the Sobek here is actually quite smooth. Now, if I compare it to my memory of the Spring Thunder, it feels a lot more sturdy, in my opinion, than the Spring Thunder. Uh, and that's my thoughts about it so far. I think this blaster has a lot of potential. Um, I think that the launching mechanism is cool but out of everyone here I am very biased because I'm left-handed so I don't like the shells flying in my face and that is something that yeah well it's rip alright for me it's too goddamn long for me but I'm pretty small build uh, so I guess it's just not designed for me uh. one main issue is to get the shell ejection mechanism to work properly you gotta like like force it back a bit It's not that smooth so far. So like I gotta kind of force it down before like the shell actually moves into the chamber. Oh, the last part, the very yeah, last, the, the, the last like one quarter of an inch, just like the last. Uh, so oh, if yeah. I don't force it back hard enough, it just like get stuck there, mm. like such. Then you get a up. Now, now it's inside the chamber already. That's one major gripe that I have, and basically it's too long. I have short arms. I'm. Asian, so I gotta stretch out my arm. <laughs> yeah. That's for me. Uh. I'm gonna straight up say that I have had experience with a few uh, nerf-based nerf uh, shotguns. Namely, the Spring Thunder. Spring Thunder? The Spring Thunder! <laughs> <And>, uh, Spring Thunder! <laughs> the Spring Thunder. I've also actually assembled the lever gun and I've had my own uh, issues hey, with it as well. Okay. About but as with shell ejecting platforms uh, go, right? So far, the Sobek right, has a much more simpler uh, how to say, mechanism in the whole of it. So of course, it's a large build. It's not meant for, for those people of smaller builds like us Asians, actually. Except Herods. Yeah, because Herod's, actually, Herod's. right, if you think about it, okay, for a blaster like the Lynx, uh, you can square your body with your blaster perpendicular to, to it, right? And you can actually hold it straight like this. But with the Sobek, right, I don't think a single person uh, in, in Singapore, so far that Singapore we know, can actually hold this blaster perpendicular and she reach the end of it. Look at my shoulder. Excuse me, I'm right behind you. Look at this. <laughs> okay, other, than, other than him, other than him, some larger Singaporeans. <laughs> As for a lot of us, right, we have to articulate our arms and our entire shoulders to accommodate for this space. Articulate yeah, so, arms are English. So, as a shotgun user, I, I can say that this is a pretty smooth except for like Ireland and uh, Zach have noted actually that the last bit of it, you need to, that's that small bit and it can be quite uh, a bit of a task actually, especially if you're using K26 spring. Can be quite hard to actuate the next shell to chamber. The assembly uh, is okay. We we've run into our own problems. Okay, and we've had our share fair share. But is this, this is this a video, right? Yeah, you all saw the problems. Yeah, we, yeah, you you see the problems, all right. But the parts are very simple. There's like way lesser than the Spring Thunder. Uh, oh yes, yes, yes complexity, and you don't have all these mini springs and things like that. So. In a way, it's actually pretty pretty simple in a sense. It looks very simple. I like the simple design. Yeah, so that's my thoughts. You know. <laughs> my long boy, I can square my body and do this. Like, I square. Oh, yeah, like, like it's not really square. square. Like, square is actually... Like, square is like 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Yeah, so it's impossible for you to do that. You yeah. can't. You can't. 
Why don't you stand up and like, like yeah, try No, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, you see, uh, look at this. Uh, the problems I have with it. I fucking suck at ejecting the shower. <laughs> fucking suck at ejecting, full stop. <laughs> he can't eject. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, like the ejection is a bit weird for me. But getting the shower out of the tube part is not hard because I, I use the spring thunder for quite a while, so it's okay for me. The only thing is that like, the trigger is still a bit tough to pull sometimes, but I don't know why. The trigger pull yeah, is yeah. insane. The trigger pull is insane. But other than that, right, I, I don't know, like. Problems with this thing. The assembly cost I had to base it off of a video in not my native language. Mm, so that was a bit problematic. So I was like <laughs> playing guess and check with this blaster the entire assembly process. But okay, so it went together well. What I freaking love is if we disregard the clear tube, we use drum springs to push this thing, which is really cool because you don't have to find some custom spring and then shove it in here. The air brake, the air brake works super well as well. And the, the quick spring swap, this, this shit, man. This is the dream of mine. The number of times Joseph broke that part is astounding. For those who are 3D printing this, right? Uh, take note, like don't print stress parts actually, this part in matte. So, my mistake is I printed this in matte filament and make it uh, quite weak. So you can actually pull the, the thing and it breaks. Yeah, that's the, that's the mistake there. Anything's a deal though with your breathing. Yeah, all in all, um, I think the overall design of Sobek is quite cool. Uh, I, I like the fact that the word Sobek is on the pusher mechanism there. But what I personally don't like is the font being used. I, that font reminds me of Hercules the movie. Ah! It's a Greek, it's right, a it's very Greek, I understand. Yeah. But it's, it's like very literally Greek. I, I feel like it doesn't go well with the entire... Um, yeah, the overall design of the blaster. By the way, just as a disclaimer, there are no rails on this particular version because Herod intends to put it up there onto his display rack and there's no tolerances between the two blasters he's having. You can put Piccadilly yeah, You rails. can put Piccadilly in the rails set. here and on the side. I'm low-key just lazy to rearrange the walls. So, so Herod gave some pretty good uh, constructive feedback in terms of uh, you know like the design and things that he liked and things that he didn't like in terms of the mechanisms itself. Joseph did as well. Uh, I didn't share much because I don't have a lot of experience with shell ejection blasters. But I must say that maybe to be fair, right? I don't know if the sear uh, really requires two springs instead of just one. The reason why we put two springs is because we took Duncan's advice. That's it. Uh, and that was partly because earlier on Herod's was having a problem with the catch. So far after that, I don't think any of us really had a, any problems with catching. Uh, because we actually have two springs in there. So that's something that you could consider. I don't know. Maybe it's one of those things that will just wear wear in over time. Now, if I compare this to a very tough trigger pull, say for example, uh, the fly point. I don't remember the fly point being as tough as this. Like this, in my opinion, is tougher than actuating the fly point in its entire system. I agree with both what Joseph and Herod said about the mechanism and, and the way it works and everything. I think it was quite a straightforward build. But to be fair, including today, I've assembled the Sobek two and a half times. So that, that's, to, that's uh, just me being very open and very honest about it. The first time that you guys saw, we really struggled a lot. Just to highlight again, Duncan took like more than 12 hours just to make sure that his so bad worked. I remember spending over 8 hours at Joseph's place and both of us were trying to compete against each other to see who could assemble a so bad quicker. But even after 8 hours, we weren't able to finish a single so bad because of tolerance issues. So yeah, and then after that, if we include that time, we spent how much? We spent like 2 hours, I think? 2 yeah. hours uh, talking about different points and then Joseph went on after that to actually edit the files beyond that. And then today, the initial assembly wasn't going to be as smooth if Herods did not first try to assemble it beforehand. So uh, then maybe now I'd like to ask Herods, uh, Herods, uh, in your opinion, right, when you were pre-assembling this thing, like uh -huh. the day before or the two days before, uh -huh. was it difficult for you? I mean, to also edit the files, so not really. It was just annoying to follow the guide. Because it was me guess and guessing which screw goes where. I see. And then I had to find some external screws for some certain parts. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair point, fair point. I just want to be very, very fair. Uh, this is a point to be taken with a pinch of salt because the instruction guide that we all watched was purely in Dutch and we did not understand a single word of it. Even for example, the references of the different screw sizes, we just could only guess by looking at whatever he showed on his palm. You know, like Dennis would just kind of like bring his palm up towards the camera a little bit and we would have to kind of guess like which screw size and all that. Uh, also, you know, uh, there were many different versions of the different file sets as well. 
different variations of parts. So we just tried our very best. But uh, I guess after all these efforts, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's a it's a pretty solid blaster, pretty compelling. I'm not a huge fan of shell ejecting blasters, so you know, probably not in love with it as much as say, for example, Ireland or Harrods or maybe even Joseph. But uh, that that's my for, opinion. For the record, I hate shell ejection blasters. I just find it cool, so I want to one. Disclaimer lah, but I printed this in matte filament. I highly recommend you don't. I printed this matte filament because I already bought it. That's it, basically. Um. I don't know when the soul bag will be released for public, but I'd like to once again thank Dennis for giving me the opportunity, as well as Joseph, you know, on behalf of Joseph and uh, on behalf of Duncan and Harrod, uh, for us to kind of be able to own a soul bag. Uh, thank you, and uh, then gets to play with it as well. So it's all good. Everyone wins here, and that is it. So uh, I'm going to end the video now. Nothing else more to say. Besides, I I had a good experience, even though it was a very frustrating one. Uh, eventually, we have a soul bag now. And now Harrod's gonna add it to that wall. Drills pay the bills and teamwork makes the dream work.